I think I got initiated into classical music from a very young age, probably even before I was aware of it. Because my father is himself a trained classical singer and he used to also play the violin and the harmonium. And my mother is a trained sitarist, so I grew up listening to all these different kinds of music and all these different instruments. And music has always been a way of life in our family. I am very fortunate that I had a guru like Ustad Usman Khan Sahib who came to my house and taught me sitar. Those days my children were young, Kalyani and her elder brother, and they could hear the sound that came from the sitar. I have been trained in Hindustani Shastriya Sangeet by the famous vocalist and sarangi player of the Gwalior Gharana, Ustad Muhammad Hussain Khan Sahib. I always thought that Kalyani should learn classical music and I started giving her some elementary lessons. But then I realized that she really has a very rare quality. She has an exceptionally strong musical memory. And you notice this when in those days, the TV serials like Mahabharat, Malgudi Days, Vagale Ki Dunia, all these serials were there and there were some very fantastic uh, signature tunes to those serials. So I used to ask Kalyani, what is the signature tune of Malgudi Days? And she could immediately repeat it without even thinking. So I thought she has a rare quality and it should be nurtured. My father used to take me to a lot of classical concerts of renowned musicians. And I think from there I started enjoying classical music from that very young age. And probably I must have been around 10 or 11 years old when I one day just declared to my parents that when I grow up I want to be a professional singer. I don't think anyone took me seriously that time. But at the same time, I was also attracted to dance. Perhaps because of the fact that it's a visual medium. Perhaps because of the colorful costumes. Maybe the rhythm uh, that attracted me. And I started formally training in Kathak dance. And for some years, I went on parallelly learning both vocal classical music as well as Kathak dance. But at the age of 15, at some point I felt that my true calling was music and then I decided to focus completely on music. But after so many years, looking back, I feel that because of my dance and actual formal training in dance, I got to understand the intricacies of Tal in a much better way. Because when you dance, you become one with the rhythm. And somewhere I feel that whatever I would have expressed through my dance, I now express through my music and subconsciously somewhere, I feel that I dance through my music. Because when I sing, the images that I have in my mind or the perceptions that I have in my mind are those of dance. is creative, he is an artist in the first place. So I feel it is extremely important for an artist to think out of the box, try and experiment with different genres, try to push his or her own boundaries and uh, try to innovate with his or her own art. If you limit yourself to only one genre of music or only one style of music, somewhere you are limiting your creativity, you are limiting your potential, your own talent. For some years, I learned the sitar because I grew up with the sounds of the sitar. I used to see my mother playing the sitar. So it was but natural that I started playing it. But then for some years, I also took formal training in sitar playing. 
and that has helped me in bringing the instrumental style of presentation which is inherently different from the vocal style in my vocal performance maje vadil ustad mohammad husain khan yana arvin bhai sarke mira bhabhi ji sarke vidyarthi lable he amcha arun music class amcha jhajjar gharane cha bhagya magcha varshi tichu gaana mi aiklo to jeva cd release jhali tevha ti itki chhan gaili hoti ki aaj parant tya gaane chi khushbu majhe dokyat ahe ती अजून वाढत जाईल अशी मला पूर्ण खात्री आहे कल्याणी सारखे लोक कल्याणी सारख्या मुलं मुली जेव्हा डोळ्यासमोर येतात तेव्हा लक्षात येतं की आपलं भारतीय संगीत ह्या तरुण पिढीमध्ये नक्कीच सेफ आहे स्टेज म्युझिक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र इज एन इम्पॉर्टंट कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन टू इंडियन क्लासिकल म्युझिक अँड माय गुरु उस्ताद मोहम्मद हुसैन खान साहेब वॉज अ सारंगी अकंपनिस्ट ऑफ नन अदर दॅन द लेजंड ऑफ नाट्य संगीत बालगंधर्व so he had that authentic style of balgandrava which he handed over to me and i passed it on to kalyani so kalyani has become a versatile singer in indian classical music of course awards are important because they formally recognize your efforts and your talent and hard work but i think for an artist the biggest reward comes from the appreciation of the audience the spontaneous reaction of the audience in the middle of a performance like a wow a kya baat hai that is something which i feel as an artist is more meaningful ani kharokaras kalyani thi pragati आणि आता त्यां तिन्ही तर फयाज हुसेन खा साहेबांकडे नंतर आपले उस्मान खा साहेब अशा अनेक लोकांकडनं श्रीखंड यांच्याकडनं घेतल्यानंतर पुन्हा पुढे प्रगतीसाठी त्यांनी जे नवीन वाटा धुंदाळलेल्या आहेत आणि त्यातनं पुढे ती नवीन नवीन काही गोष्टीचे करते शिवाय ती डॉक्टरेट होते एवढंच करून ती थांबली नाही इकॉनॉमिक्समध्ये तिने मास्टर डिग्री केली पहिला नंबर मिळवला आणि पुढे डॉक्टरेट अशी इतक्या व्हर्सटाईल ह्याच्यामधनं ती पुढे चाललेली आहे ह्याच्यासाठी मला तिला आशीर्वाद म्हणा किंवा शुभेच्छा म्हणा ह्या द्यायच्या ह्या क्षणी द्यायला पाहिजेत कल्याणी डिड नॉट रिस्ट्रिक्ट हर सेल्फ टू म्युझिक ओनली शी हॅज बीन अ व्हेरी ब्राईट स्टुडंट ऑल अलॉंग इन अकॅडमिक्स ऑल्सो सो शी हॅज बीन एबल टू सीक अ बॅलन्स अँड टुडे आय एम व्हेरी प्राऊड दॅट she is pursuing both her careers very successfully oh ki vol ki gaina madhe adkun padli na gaina barobar ti abhyasati pradhan ni malale hai bhela ki vidyapitha madhe arthashastra madhe pehla varga pehli aali de vidyapitha madhe me ekadu ni dali le it was never really planned one thing just led to the other and my economics career started I did my graduation in economics and then I did my post graduation in economics and while I was doing my masters some of my friends were planning to appear for the state eligibility test which is mandatory for holding faculty positions at the post graduate level so I decided to appear for the exam and I started studying for it but once the exam was over I forgot all about it but when the result came out it was quite a pleasant surprise that i had cleared the exam which was quite a rare at that point because uh, around 1 or 2% of those who used to appear used to actually clear it and passing at the first attempt was also rare from that moment my economics career teaching career in economics took off i got an opportunity to teach 
economics to graduate and postgraduate students in Ferguson College, which is one of the premier institutes, not just in Pune, but in the entire country. And I started teaching, I started enjoying the subject, I studied it more deeply. I started science, psychology, jyotish, and sangeet. I started teaching science, psychology, 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 and मैं फक्त संगीत शिकेन आसान नहीं चलना मतलब है ही पाई जाती ही पाई जाती ही पाई जाती सगल पाई जाती कर अनेक गोष्टें लग तोड़ने जाए चल जगत मनुन मतलब कल्याणी से कब तो करते कि जिन्हें सगल ये गोष्टें के लिए When you're teaching intelligent, aware adults, you always have to be on your toes. You have to be updated all the time. I decided to do my research in economics and then finally I completed my PhD in economics. I also started publishing my work in journals. And I also presented my work at a lot of national and international conferences. Later on, I moved to the management field. And for the past 10 years, I have been teaching economics to MBA students. While doing that, I felt the need to understand business management also. And then I did my master's in personal management. People ask me very often, how come I am professionally involved into both economics and music? Because these two streams are so different from each other. But for me personally, both these fields have been quite complementary. Because whether I'm teaching economics or whether I'm singing, I'm facing an audience. I'm interacting with the audience. I'm trying to keep the audience engaged. If required, I have to alter my performance, gauging their reaction. So I think my experience in singing has certainly helped me in my teaching career in economics. At the same time, study of economics and in general my academic career has helped me to develop that mindset to study and research, that temperament to study. Because of which I feel I am a better student of music now. And my teaching career in economics has also made me a better teacher of music. But the most important thing which I feel is that because I interact with two different groups of people on a daily basis. One is my classical audience, which is initiated into music, which goes for concerts, which listens to a lot of artists. And on the other hand, I have my group of MBA students who may not necessarily be classically inclined. So I also felt the need to take my music to this other group of people and in a form that they would immediately connect with. Because generally you find that people have this belief about classical music that it is either too serious or it is too meditative. Meditation it is because any art I feel is meditative because it gives you peace of mind. But I wanted to drive home the point that classical music can also be entertaining. It can be youthful, it can be attractive. And that was the reason why I started experimenting in fusion music. I kept the Indian classical ragas intact and blended them with western beats or some western rhythm. Similarly, I started doing shows in music appreciation where I explained basic concepts in music with common examples like film songs which anybody could immediately relate with and theme concerts in which I started showing an entire spectrum of compositions that can be there in one single rag. So what are the different moods or expressions or emotions which one single rag can explain? or portray. So for example, if you take Rag Yaman, there are a variety of compositions which can be presented in that one rag, which show a lot of different emotions and expressions. A classical khyal, a Marathi Natya Sangeet, a ghazal, a devotional song. Eri aali piya bina, sakhi eri aali piya bina, deva ghar se dnya गरजे भी 
matira, garze bhi matira. And then I take it forward to some classical based film songs. Jab deep jale aana, jab sham dhale aana, nigahe mila ne ko ji chahta hai. So I feel that when I present this entire spectrum of compositions, it connects very well with all types of audiences. Now these kind of experiments have been quite successful and I have enjoyed doing them. And I look forward to many more such performances in the future and I look forward to involving many more people in this world of music. तरुण गाई के नाम पर आए करा रहा हूँ। यह मुझे सब बायोडाटा वास्तव में थक कर जाओ। खूब परवाह लो। अरविंद ने मेरा तुम्हें दो घर जन अतिशय भाग के वाला ही बड़ी रहा। माझे खातरिया है कि गुणान बरोबरस, शिक्षणा बरोबरस, मनाना अने संस्कार अने ही तुम्हें कल्याण इन्द्र निश्चित मोठे के लिए Arvind and Meera, I thank both of you that you created a lovely child, a lovely youthful, great singer, would be great singer of this country. I wish you all the best. When I was a young man, 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 पातलूर जावो ऐसे मी मनो का उन्हें व्यक्त करतो तेरा जो हमें प्रथम आई थी यूनिवर्सिटी में मैंने जब मीटिंग हुआ तेरे बाद माला सब आटले क्या पढ़ने का आना ही सब पुना ही लायका आज सा हाँ सीडी सा विमोचन समारोह में मंजे कल्याणी ने माता पिता ला दिले ली मार दो बंदा दोहांचा प्राप्त होने का संगीता का वासा, तीने प्रेमा ने अंगीकार ला, विकसित केला, अनि स्वतः से जीवन तो खुलो रहे, पर तेसो बस सामाजिक रूप पर तीने मानलो, तीने खूब अभ्यास केले, खूब लेखन केले, खूब वाचन केले, अनि दूसरे ना शिक्षण, न्यान संबंधित तो पर जीवन करे जीवन तुझा उजी खामाजिक स्वास्थ्य संगीत मानसा वो सदैव न वो करो सो, उनकी शक्ति अस्तित्व है।